The abortion lobby is up in arms over Amy Coney Barrett's confirmation to the Supreme Court. That is this week's Speak Out segment. Ever since President Trump nominated Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court, the abortion lobby and some media outlets have been spreading lies and half-truths about the Catholic mother of seven in order to stir up fear and hysteria. Now that she's been confirmed this week, that hysteria is reaching peak levels. There are many examples to choose from. Here are a few. Abortion lobby Nay Rao tweeted, There's no mystery here. Amy Coney Barrett is a threat to reproductive freedom. Anyone who pretends otherwise is either willfully ignorant or intentionally gaslighting. Some media outlets also started pushing this dangerous narrative. The Cut, a style magazine, literally started a fundraising campaign for abortion groups. The Cut tweeting out, alarmed by Amy Coney Barrett's abortion views, if you can, donate to an abortion fund. It then included a link to donate. Fashion magazine Vanity Fair published an article with this headline, Amy Coney Barrett, about to be confirmed to the Supreme Court, sees a scenario in which abortion should be punishable by death. And here's an op-ed that ran in NBC News the day of her confirmation titled, Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court Confirmation Jeopardizes More Than Abortion. No reputable pro-life advocate calls for women who undergo abortions to be punished and imprisoned. And this notion that Amy Coney Barrett is a threat to women is laughable. Need I remind the abortion lobby that Amy Coney Barrett is a woman, and as a mother of seven, I'm sure she knows the importance of women's health. Pro-lifers celebrate that Barrett is a constitutionalist who respects the constitutional right to life. But abortion advocates depict her as a woman walking into the Supreme Court chambers with some devious agenda to create a dystopian reality. But the abortion lobby and abortion advocates are not interested in sharing truth, not on the life issue, and not about our newest Supreme Court justice. It's important to remember that instilling fear and frenzy is not of the Lord. So let us in the pro-life movement continue to walk in truth and in peace.